Hey Mark, now yeah, we've uh, we've pulled into uh, an area between two brake walls. We refer to these as the gaps, and uh, these become pretty uh, significant uh, areas for guys to focus their fishing in the spring, aren't they? Yeah, there's a there's two reasons we come up in here. The fish move up here to stage and move on up to spawn, and to hide from the four and five and six and seven and eight footers that Lake Erie throws at you on occasion. But the way to fish these gaps, it's all about current. I'm sitting here behind the wheel right now because I'm trying to decide whether or not we've got enough current sweeping down through here, as well as with the water temps being such as they are. It's a little bit early, but there ought to be a few fish in here, so I think we're gonna go ahead and give this a drift or two. But on these brake walls and these gaps, you wanna use your electronics a good bit. Um, I mean, I've got a Hummingbird 1198 and I put the Lake Master chip in it, and the reason I do that is because there's no more secrets out here if you do that. It uh, pretty much shows everything you need to know, the contours and everything that you need to know. And it's, as I said, it's all about the current brakes. They'll stack up in certain areas, but the most important thing with the gaps is to understand that the current is not always the same. Where it's rolling in is completely contingent. Like today, we got a really hard offshore blowing, you know, probably 30 from the west. That's gonna change the current. The way that it pushes the water, it's really a, just a, an exercise of hydrodynamics. It really pushes the water up in the bay and holds it, which essentially means that the current flow will not be as great in the gaps when it's a hard west wind because it's literally pushing it in and holding it so it can't flush back out. And a lot of times, especially when the water's colder, it'll mess with the fish and it won't get them stacked up to where you can work on them. But we're gonna try it anyway. Get us out in the current, and then we're going to drag. We're going to drag through here one time. Just throw it right toward the gap. Now we often find these fish coming in in waves in the spring, don't you, Mark? Well, when they're, yeah, when they're stacked up, when the water temp gets right, but what I'm actually doing right now is there's a hill out off this gap. It's hard bottom and it's kind of out here. It's mud all the way around it, but it's hard bottom on top of it. And it's out off the gap. The fish will move up into the gap and then they'll hit these hills and then they'll go ahead and move on in. And if you do it right, you end up with one of these. Lake Erie brown gold right there. All right. Bob, the guy's doubled up here. Yep. Thought he was a big boy. Okay, on the tube? Yep, on the tube. Okay, good. He just decided it was time to suck it all in there. All right. Keep contact with the bottom with the tube. And that's the secret. Stay on the bottom. Just like Mark was saying with those gobies. That's where they're at. That's where your bait, you want your bait to be. It's hard to set the hook to this wind. Like Mark said a little while ago, he had to make a choice of setting the hook or falling out of the boat. <laughs> He chose usually, the lake. Yeah, usually hook set loses. There, there we go. Is. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, he's coming out of the water. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, he's feisty. That's because we're in shallower water. The Gary is. Okay, nice coloration on that. Beautiful fish. Okay. The old tournament haul. That's right. That's a money fish in a tournament. <laughs> 
Absolutely. Money fish. Uh oh, double. Double, double again. Bye bye. One after another. Sometimes when you miss them and drop it, don't crank them, just drop it right there. They will come back and hit it. Hey. <laughs> Look at the belly on this guy. Look at, look at, look at the underside of this fish. Oh, that's what Lake Erie fish look like. Yeah, man. Guys. Look at that. That's what I come after, right there. Look how good. wide that fish is. Beautiful. That's where all Beautiful. that power comes from. Stocky body, mouth, Incredible. shoulders. Incredibly powerful fish. There's so many fish in Lake Erie. There's a million different ways to catch them, and there's always a pattern available always a way that you can get them inshore offshore up tight there's a jerk bait bite going on right now i mean it's you know it just depends on on uh, what you want to do and how you want to do it and how you got them dialed in the best and if you do it right you end up with one of these lake erie brown gold right there all right